Okay, the last little video for the assembly is going to be just for fun um, to let you show how you can animate your train. So as you can see on the screen, I've got my train. I'm not clicking and dragging and trying to animate it. The wheels are turning. So how did I do that? Um, you notice that both sides are running as well. So first I created one extra mate um, after doing all those revolute mates and everything. So what I wanted was to be able to have one wheel turn kind of, you know, I picked one on one side, but I wanted the opposite side to know to turn with it. So basically this is not a hundred percent realistic in the real world, but um, I made this tab stay um, kind of aligned to this tab over here. And to do that, I used the cylindrical mate right here. So I turned that one on and pretty much just got the mate connector right here in the middle of the tab and the mate connector in the middle of that tab. And that's all I did. Okay. And so that was my last constraint. So you can test that by grabbing the wheel and pulling on it. And you see that both wheels, well, not both, but all four wheels are turning. So it's really this one here is driving the back one through the relationship to the linkage arms. And this wheel on the opposite side of the train is turning simply because the tab now has to stay aligned to the tab on the other side. And so once that wheel gets in motion, that linkage arm and the other wheel get in motion as well. Okay. So to animate, um, I find the revolute that I would, um, or the constraint that I'm basically animating myself manually. So grabbing this wheel, that was my very first revolute constraint was this kind of front, call it um, driver side wheel. So if I right click on that, relationship and I look in this menu, there is an animate choice. So when I select that, I want to get all those things to kind of unhighlight. There you go. Oh, I did it again. Maybe just until I animate it. So um, inside here, if I hit the, just go ahead and hit the play button and see what happens, you will get some movement. And so it's animating this rotation, this revolute, and then all the other relationships that are connected to it kind of have to go into play. Um, under playback type, reciprocate is means it's going to go kind of forward and backward and just kind of bounce within the range that you have. So we have a range from zero to 360. So it's going to make a full circle. It'll hit one end and then just go backwards. If I want my train to look like it's going forward the whole time, I'm going to hit that drop down and change from reciprocate to loop. And so it'll do the motion and then it will repeat when it gets to it in the same direction. Right now, my wheels actually look like they're going backwards. So if I want to flip them to go in the opposite direction, I can hit this reverse little option. And now it looks like the train's going forward. If I want to speed my train up, then it's really more of a um, kind of number of frames or steps um, that we're breaking this motion into. So the less steps, then it looks like it processes faster, it kind of makes it look like the train's going quicker. So right now it's breaking this motion into 300 different increments. So let's just change this to like 100. And that should basically speed the, it should visually make it look like it's going three times faster. Um, each time you change your parameter, you, you do have to hit play again. Okay. And I could speed it up double from there. If I hit 50, go from 100 to 50, that should be twice as fast. And if you really want to make it go fast, like make that 10. There you go. So pretty cool to be able to put your assemblies into an animation mode so people can see um, how things operate. Now, one last thing in here that I noticed I don't have, I don't think. Or was it, let me turn this around and see. No, oh, maybe it's going okay. I don't know. It looked okay. I think it's doing what I wanted. All right. Well, there you go. That's just a fun one to mess around with. So it doesn't show up in your mate features at all. Um, it doesn't really show up that you do that. So you just kind of manually go into the mate features and find the one you want. Um, you could rename this though, Revolute. You could put, you know, animate here. So you remember which one to click on.